back. It won't, it won't be that arduous, I don't think. Um, I spoke, what I'm going to tell you about, I spoke at Thai Hong Kong. And the way I started it was this. Has anybody seen that uh, famous presentation by Steve Jobs where he, he's launching the Mac Air and he pulls it out of the envelope and shows people? Anybody? You, you nodded. You, saw that you might have seen it. Okay, maybe I'm the only geek in the room. That can't be right because it's a Thai event. We must all be tech geeks. But you've not seen where, you know, he pulls it out of an envelope. There's a Mac Air, and he says, this is what it is. And that's all he needed to do. All he needed to do was just show them coming, it coming out of an envelope. So when I was in Hong Kong, I gave this speech. And that morning, um, my Mac Air crashed. It just blew up. So no electricity, nothing. So I said to them, look, honestly, I had a wonderful PowerPoint for you. And it's in this thing. Look, here it is. It's, it, it's in there somewhere. It's in the, it's in the Mac Air. Uh, as it was, the 300 slides that I'd carefully presented for them, which I could not show them, and then 30 minutes before the presentation, I had to just speak, turned out to be far better, far more interesting than watching even more PowerPoints. So I thought I would do the same. What's good enough for Thai Hong Kong should be good enough for Thai Delhi. And I thought what I'll do is I'll actually tell you, I do have notes in case you're thinking, you know, how many computers can this guy break? Uh, I thought I'd go, I'll talk through the statistics rather than, you know, bore you with even more pitch decks and things that I'm sure you are bored to death of seeing and you prepare every day. And then what we'll do is we'll have a Q&A. It'll be good to sort of hear uh, what sectors everyone's in, what stage your companies are in, and so on. What I'm going to do though, first of all, is just explain to you uh, the contents of the talk. <clears throat> what I did is I took the data from what we're doing with the British government of all the companies we've worked with that have landed from not just India but around the world into the UK and gone global. So my role as a deal maker, and, and it, I know it sounds like a ridiculous title, but it actually says that on my government card. It actually says, and there's proof, there's the Queen's insignia, and I'll give you all one of these cards. It actually does say dealmaker. So my role as a government dealmaker is for India, for China, Malaysia, Singapore to look for early stage outstanding technology companies with a view to doing the deals to land them in the UK. Now, I'll explain what that means in terms of the deals, what kind of companies we look for. But I thought what would be really interesting for all of you and what I made notes on, so I converted all these boring slides uh, into actual notes. What would be useful for you to know is things like who lands in the UK? How do they do it? How do they become big? Who gets funding? Which sectors? What characteristics do the entrepreneurs have? And the reason behind wanting to do this is, first of all, we had lots of data. So in the spirit of big data and, and, and the time of our, uh, uh, the, the, the sort of the fashion of our era, I thought I'd explain, I'd go through the data and explain to you who's winning and who isn't. But there was another reason for doing this. As you know, London hosted the Olympics. And I thought to myself, you know, we keep on with Thai, and I'm one of the co-founders of Thai UK, so I know Thai, obviously it's family, it's, it's, uh, I know it intimately. But one of the things that we often did with Thai is we'd have entrepreneurs speaking, and they'd tell you their inspirational story, and you'd be sitting there, and I'd be sitting there, and I'd think, wow, that's great. And you'd go back to the office that very same night at 11 at night, and you'd put in an extra five hours of work until four in the morning, and, and you were just so inspired. And that was all great. Uh, and I thought, well, wait a minute. The people who come first, you know, the ones who make the hundreds of millions, the billions, they sound, and the things they say are always the things that we already know. You know, persistence, find a technology where there's not much competition, or you've got some IP protection. Uh, make sure you've got a supportive spouse because you're going to be working all hours. Uh, make sure the investment deck makes it absolutely clear what the problem is and how yours is a great solution. You know, all the things that we've heard over and over again. Then they'll throw in a bit of how they uh, had absolutely no, uh, nowhere to live, no clothes, no money, no nothing, and, and suddenly uh, the, an idea came to them and they became billionaires. The, the sort of the classic inspirational story. Um, nobody ever says, well, my dad was a billionaire. I managed to lose a couple of hundred million, and that's why I'm still rich. Uh, everyone's always got that fantastic inspirational story, which is great, and we love hearing it, and, and it inspires us. It motivates us. 
And I thought, well, if you think about the Olympics and the person who comes first, the one who gets the gold medal, and the one who comes fourth, and the one who comes fourth is pretty bloody good. I mean, yeah, they, they're at the Olympics. You know, if it was your family member, you'd say, hey, you know, okay, the guy didn't make the podium, but fourth is still winning. So the difference between the winners and the losers that we're always told about is not, it's, or rather it's too easy to say, oh, persistence. What do you, how do you think the fourth guy did? The guy who came fourth was persisting. He was probably putting in the same hours. He might have been putting in more hours than the guy who came top. Maybe the guy who came top just had natural instinct. Maybe he was just born into a family where they trained him that much earlier. Maybe the guy who came fourth was actually the one we should be listening to uh, because he had to work even harder. And even then, he could only manage fourth. Whereas the guy who came top, he came top because he just had it easy. All his life, he had all the best equipment and so on and so forth. I thought, actually, the thing that we need at Thai events is not more and more stories of the guy who wins and what he's telling us, because what he's telling us is what the fourth place guy's telling us, uh, and it's not news. We all know what it takes, uh, and none of us want to be fourth. We don't want to just miss the podium. All of us are here because we want to be on the podium. We want to get one of the medals. And so we went through all this data and we said, well, actually, what's the difference between the people who are coming first and coming fourth? Not the ones who are coming first and the ones who are making nothing, because that's too easy. Then I just said to you, hey, guess what? You've got to persist. Well, yeah, I mean, that's hardly worth your driving across Delhi to here. So we went through the data and we worked out what's the difference between the guys who are coming first and the ones who are just missing the podium. Is there a difference? And very often there might not be. The difference might just be luck and timing, something out of our hands, and that's fine because we'll be happy with 100 million instead of a billion or whatever. We'll be happy with fourth instead of first if the only difference is just a little bit of timing and good luck. But what if there's other things? What if there are things which mining the data, as opposed to just me or any other entrepreneur telling you, oh, this is what we did, this is my inspiring story, and you hear yet another inspiring story, yet another anecdote, you hear about um, somebody used to clean toilets who borrowed a um, thousand rupees from his aunt, made an investment when he was 12 and then got hooked into a whole investing, taught himself whilst at school so he didn't have to do a paper round uh, and then eventually started writing books about investments, made enough money to set up a fund uh, and got investors into it from the Thai network. Well, actually, that's my story, including the cleaning toilets part. You think, okay, yeah, but that's just you, how does that relate to me? What if instead we do what Thai should be good at, which is have all that data and say, okay, now break down to us how much money did the winners raise? Which sectors were they in? Were they entrepreneurs from day one? Were they college dropouts? Or did they have other jobs first? How did they pick the sectors? Uh, who didn't get funded? What were the reasons why they didn't get funded? What if we could fix all those things? I could give you that data. And then you might say, when you're looking at your own businesses, you might say, well, actually, I can't do anything about A, B, and C, but I feel really good that I fall into these characteristics of winners and these things that I can change about my story and how I pitch, I will change. What if we could do that? So that was the point. Instead of giving you one inspiring story about the difference between somebody who's won and somebody who's lost, I'm going to give you the data on 300 plus who've won compared to coming fourth on the podium. So it's still pretty good. And as I said, we'll be happy if we come fourth in the Olympics because we're still in the Olympics. So that's what today uh, is about. And what I did is go through all this data, as I said, put it into wonderful PowerPoint slides, and then the computer burnt up, which was probably the best thing that could happen. Uh, because as you will know, um, I don't think Steve Jobs ever gave a PowerPoint presentation. He's pretty damn good at this stuff. So there's going to be quite a bit of data, but I'll speak slowly through it so you, can, uh, so you can understand. The source of this information is a collection of companies which we as deal makers around the world have brought to the United Kingdom, which have then gone global. 